free. So if you're wrestling the winter blues, there's a unique exhibit at the Scottish Rite Temple centering an artist who turned his struggles into art. Joining us today is John Zoller, the executive producer of Exhibition Hub, to talk to us about Van Gogh, the immersive experience. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Daryl. It's great to be here to talk about Van Gogh, the immersive experience right here in New Orleans. Absolutely. Speaking of immersive experience, how does this exhibit use technology for an especially unique experience for folks? Well, so Van Gogh's work is incredibly, it's colorful, it's vibrant, it's got three dimensions, it's got movement to it in and of itself. But with our technology, we're able to actually bring that to life, enhance those colors, let you step into the painting and be completely surrounded and immersed in the painting. I mean, look, look at some of these images on, on your screen right there, it's unbelievable. So how can digital art improve someone's mood even when highlighting the artist's mental health struggles? Well, so digital art has been proven to help reduce stress, reduce blood pressure, help people get centered, which obviously is great for the holiday season. But the thing that's amazing about Van Gogh is that he had these mental health struggles, but he channeled those struggles into his artwork to create some of those beautiful artworks known in the 20 and 21st century. I mean, so iconic, all the things that he's created. So a lot of folks want to know, why did you all choose New Orleans to be a part of this? Well, New Orleans was a no-brainer for us. New Orleans, New Orleans in and of itself is culture. So why not bring some of the best culture in the world to the best city in the world? It was easy for us to do, and also we found a great location right in the heart of the Central Business District on Carondelet Street, the old Scottish Rite Temple that a lot of people haven't been in in their whole time in New Orleans because it was a closed society for 100 years. By the way, it was actually built the year that Van Gogh was born, 1853. Wow. So a lot of great tie-ins there. A lot of good tie and, I, and I'm a history nerd, so you, you just got me going right there. So, gotta ask you, okay, looking at some of the artistry behind me, you know, looking at everything, folks probably watching this saying, I wanna be a part of this, I wanna go. How can folks get tickets for this? So the best way to get tickets is to go to vangoexpo.com and you select New Orleans and you're in. You can also walk right up to the box office right at 619 Carondelet Street and we're open we're open almost every day throughout the holiday season. We are gonna be closing the exhibit for good right before Mardi Gras. So for those who haven't come, this is the time to get there. And for those who have been, it's a great time to come back. It's a wonderful getaway with the family. It's a great first date night. It's a great 50th anniversary party. It's, a, it's just a wonderful time. And, and we really hope to get everybody in New Orleans back and those who haven't been to come before we close. This is a versatile event for all that stuff. First date night, last, whatever date night you got, this is a good event. Two to that. 102, <laughs> you know, from your kid to your grandparents, everybody, there's something for everybody. There's virtual reality, there's hands-on coloring activities. You can step into one of Van Gogh's paintings and of course you're surrounded in his works in our 6,000 square foot immersive gallery. Mrs. Aller, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And also, best of luck to you all uh, for the next couple months. And so you guys close. This is going to be an awesome event. So you got to go to it. Thank you Thanks, so much. Thanks, Daryl. Really appreciate it.